welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to show you how you can get this image from this image. The way we do this, this is actually called intentional camera movement or uh, known as ICM. So what is ICM? I'll quickly um, tell you what it basically is. So it's basically when, actually, hold on. Right, so you have your tripod and you have your camera set on top, obviously. So you may have it um, on a landscape or some trees or anything with um, a horizontal or a vertical sort of um, plane. And then you would loosen whichever one you're going on. And it would just work best if you've got handles on them. And then you'll basically just tilt it up and down with the trees one or something along those lines. Or if you want a shot like the one I've taken on the horizon, it's the one where you go sideways and you just turn it like that. But you're not going to use that one, you probably just use that one or even use the same knob so you're going left or right or up and down. That then obviously gives you this illusion of movement and you're intentionally moving that. And in that process obviously your camera's on a long exposure. So that is not my tripod that I use outside. I basically use this one in the studio. I'm just going to put that away. Now you probably have seen the tripod that I use. It's a Gitzo tripod, which is one of the Traveller series, and it doesn't actually have the uh, handles on it. And it's kind of difficult to grab your hand on the bottom and twist and turn it to give that effect. And there's no way I'm going to get the um, vertical one. So how did I actually do this? Well, I didn't do any of that really. Simple. I did it in Photoshop. And today I'm going to show you how. So if I just quickly fire up my laptop, and show you how this was actually done. And this takes literally less than 10 seconds. There we have the image out of the camera, just as it is. And the first thing you can notice is, apart from all the dust spots and speckles on there, is the horizon is, is, is ever so wonky. Now, what I've just done is straighten that out using the tool over here, the guideline, and it's nice and straight. Once I'm happy with that, I will take that away. And what we do then is, I'll just make a quick copy for you just so you can see what I'm doing. We over go to filter, we go to blur, and then we go to motion blur. Here we're going to have a quick look at where about this suits us best. And it's really important, depending on the hor if you're doing a horizontal one or a vertical one, to get the angle right. So here, we're not going to mess about with the angle, it's set to zero and we're going to leave it just there. We're then going to just decide where about our distance suits best and you can see the preview behind you now if you do have a slower machine just be wary that this may take a little bit uh, a bit of a minute to catch up you can obviously have a look at the before and the after i think it's about here give or take it looks about right okay that and boom done that is your shot so straight out the camera icm movement you can't tell the difference if it was done in icm or if it was done on the laptop now, I hope you really did enjoy that uh, video there. I will be giving you more tips and more hints um, in the coming up weeks as I get them all together. So don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and I will see you next time in the next video. Until then, see you later, guys. Oh. Got to take my stuff. Here. Yeah.